Hello and welcome to week four of my carnivore diet weight loss challenge journey to the dress. For all you people who are new subscribers, thank you for joining me. And for those of you who are coming back, thanks for being here. My name is Dr. Isator, but you can call me Izzy. This is the end of week four of my journey. I did alternate day fasting and I worked out heavy weight lifting and steady pace, slow cardio. And I ate meat and fat. Beautiful doc. Good form. Nice, don't forget to keep that coat tight, tight, tight. I ended last week at 157 pounds. This week, I am ending it at 155 pounds. So I only lost an extra two pounds. The thing is, right at the start of last week, my red dragon, made its appearance. Yes, that time of the month arrived for me. I am not going to lie, I do not like seeing my period. I actually hate having a period, but I have one every month. And I'm grateful that my hormones are balanced enough that I do not miss out on any periods, but I've just never liked seeing my periods. I'm a doctor who does not really like blood. <laughs> I don't like bodily fluids. I don't like blood. I don't like any of these things. I'm not a big fan of, you know, people having their hands all over me or me having my hands all over people. People ask me, why did you even become a doctor, Izzy, if you can't if you don't stand any of these things, I have a death. I am afraid of needles. <laughs> I could stick a needle in someone else, but I can't stick it in myself. I don't like surgeries, none of those things. Yes, I am a weird doctor. Anyway, I have my period. Usually on my period, I gain weight. I retain a lot of fluids and I gain weight on my period. So what I can say, this time around, I don't know if it's because of the fasting or what, I did not gain any weight. So I am very happy about that. I didn't gain weight on my period, but also um, it seemed like the weight loss slowed down, but I'm not really surprised because this happens every time when I'm on my period. And so I, take it as a I take it as success that I was able to maneuver through this period without gaining weight the one downside the drawback of being on this journey and being on my period when I say this journey I mean alternate day fasting like how I was doing was that I got really fatigued. I was very fatigued last week. I have been anemic ever since I was a child. And this is something that is actually being corrected with the with the carnivore diet. And I have fibroids and I was able to shrink my fibroids significantly on a carnivore diet. I still have them, but they're not causing as much problems as they used to cause. And the reason why I'm so severely anemic, even more than when I was younger, is just because of that. My fibroids had me bleeding very heavily. And not just bleeding heavily, I bled almost all month long. So, but like, for a certain time in the month, it will be extra heavy. And uh, before 
me using the carnivore diet to shrink my periods, my periods. I couldn't exercise, I was tired all the time. My hair was brittle and very thin. My nails were just awful, my skin awful, everything. So all of that has reversed basically on the carnivore diet. I still have fibroids, but they're not, they're not really causing any problems, but I do still have to fully recover from the anemia the severe anemia, I am talking about a blood count of seven, a hemoglobin of seven, when normal is like 12, between 12 and 14, depending on if you're a man or a woman, all right? So, um, every time I see my period, it's, I lose, I lose some blood, and I lose some volume because of that. So I do tend to get a little, Tired. So what was happening last week was my heart rate was elevating anytime I would exert myself a little too much. It's not as bad as before where I just couldn't do anything at all, anytime. I just, it was bad. So this time was not that bad. I was still able to work out, but I let my trainer know what was going on. And so he, he, designed, he, you know, took a step back and designed everything to fit what was going on. I, I tried to do the same uh, volume, but just at a slower pace. I did run into instances where I was doing like heavy deadlifts and I got a little dizzy, but I knew what it was. I, I found it necessary to really supplement with electrolytes. Um, last week because like I said losing blood already anemic fasting on top of that I became volume depleted and one way I know about this as well apart from the dizziness or the um, heart racing was that I started to just get slight cramps in my legs so I'm adapted to carnivore enough to where I don't really need to be supplementing a lot with salt and electrolytes. And I find that I do generally well, I do better with just a little bit of salt. I don't, I don't go overboard because I generally do not like the taste of too much. I don't, if I can taste it a lot, I don't like it. But so this time around, um, I think it was by Wednesday at work, I could feel that, you know, think, it just, just wasn't going good. So when I got home, I decided, all right, it's time to supplement with electrolytes more than I normally do. And I was able to start feeling good again. Yeah, boy! I did manage to lose some weight. It wasn't a lot, but I tend to think that from here on out, I don't think I'm really going to be losing like five pounds a week or something like that. Honestly, I don't even think losing five pounds a week is healthy. One way I've been able to stave off the excess skin issue with my fat loss from coming from 203 pounds to 100 and what, 55 pounds today is slow weight loss. Slow weight loss. When I was keto, I lost weight really fast and I got saggy skin and I did not like it. People say embrace it. I couldn't embrace it, especially since I was already body dysmorphic. I already came from a background of body dysmorphia and then you're going to throw saggy skin on top of that. I couldn't handle it. I deliberately gained back all the weight, but with carnivore, because when I started carnivore, my main focus was just health, shrinking my fibroids and all these things. I didn't, I wasn't thinking about weight loss. The weight loss just came off gradually. Initially I did gain weight, but it started to come off gradually. And I noticed with that gradual come off of my weight, I didn't get any excess loose skin and my breasts are still here. <laughs> and that is something that I'm happy about because 
on the ketogenic diet, I lost my breath. They just became deflated and I did not like that at all. So as long as I am seeing progress and things, because remember, I'm also on a journey to gain muscle. So if I'm not losing anything and I'm just staying at the same weight, but seeing the difference in my clothing, I'm happy with that too. I count last week as a success. I am no longer feeling fatigued. I feel great, ready to face week five. Okay, so like many people, I definitely struggle with a sweet tooth. I definitely struggle with cravings. I saw like I saw a I saw a video of Steak and Butter Gal and her boyfriend talking about what they eat. And I saw the meat that they, it is so fatty. I cannot find anything like that in Trinidad. So I know that this plays part because sometimes you just can't have enough butter. Or sometimes this just feels so much. I just wish I could get like a really fatty piece of meat and not worry about it but still I still struggle with cravings and I don't really think there's anything inherently wrong with that but I just thought about something if I can't be like 100% carnivore maybe on those times that I do have cravings I can just make a keto treat like a very low carb animal based treat like i came across the videos of this a woman called the ketogenic woman i think that is her name and she has all these videos about things that she makes not all of them i'm going to try because like i can't really eat eggs and stuff and she used a lot of eggs but i could do something like that uh I don't know what do you think what do you think I should do because sometimes you do I do want something different so here yeah. thanks for stopping by on my channel I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Izzy loses weight <laughs> bye just watch me breaking your sweet